Welcome to our lecture on line. Given the parametric equations of a line and the equation of a plane, can we determine if that line is parallel to the plane? Just like in the previous video, we realized that if we get the vector that's parallel to the line and the vector that's perpendicular to the plane, the line will be parallel to the plane if the dot product between the parallel vector to the line and the perpendicular vector to the plane equals zero. So that's what we're going to try to determine. Now we can get the equations for the, for the two vectors immediately from these parametric equations and from the equation of the line. So uh, let's see here, starting with a blue pen, we can say that the vector that's parallel to the line is going to be equal to the coefficients of the parametric variable t here. That's going to be two in the i direction minus 1 in the j direction and minus 4 in the k direction. I know that we converted the equations in the previous video, but as we get familiar with these equations, we can do it a little quicker like that. So now we're also going to find the equation. I'm looking for my red pen. Ah, there it is. The vector that's perpendicular to the plane can be found as follows. Vector that's perpendicular is equal to, again, we get the coefficients here, and that gives us 3 in the i direction, 2 in the j direction, and plus 1 in the k direction. Now all we have to do is take the dot product of those two vectors, and if it's equal to 0, then we know that that line is equal to that plane. Okay, now for the dot product. So the dot product of the parallel vector with the perpendicular vector. Again, that's parallel to the line and perpendicular to the plane. So that's going to be 2 multiplied times 3 plus negative 1 multiplied times 2 plus negative 4 multiplied times positive 1. Okay, that is equal to 6 minus 2 minus 4 which is equal to 0 and therefore since it's equal to 0 therefore we can say they are parallel and that is how it's done. 